Um, not very spectacular, just little crumbles. But then when I was took the bag out and me and Topher were looking through them, we found some interesting stuff. Quite a few of these little crumbles have big old CAIs poking out of them. Wow. And, and so I... Nice. Yeah, it's, it's the weirdest thing I've seen. Like, you normally don't see... CAIs that percentage of the of the uh, carbonaceous, let alone on the outside and just sitting there. And and for those on YouTube, uh, when we say CAI, we're talking about calcium aluminum inclusions, and real really the white material you're seeing right there uh, is the oldest material uh, in the solar system. It's basically the stellar nebula dust. Uh, that first congealed and coagulated into solid before substance. the birth of our sun. Yeah, exactly. It's that that stuff is as old as the sun. So I got yeah, this one and this one's from uh, Gary in Hawaii. There. Yep. Um, Fujihara. Yeah, yeah. So that's my first one from Australia that is, too. That is gorgeous. Um, oh, I love it. Yeah, um, Camel Dong is a Ukrite. And what we're yeah. seeing on it is the really, really nice dark fusion crust. And uh, as was pointed out, Colin pointed out, there's obvious flow lines in that puppy just oh. dripping down the sides. <laughs> I mean, oh, beautiful. Um, so that and it kind of reminds me of this one, which I do have, which is another lunar that came from the same region, which is uh, NWA 11331. Mm -hmm. And it kind of oh, looks, you know, it kind of looks dark, the dark uh, exterior on top there. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the same a little bit. Yeah. Um, it, you, what, you're, what you're seeing on, 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 on this side right here, you, you yeah. see all, all the gray material. All, mm -hmm. And then uh, the white class in there are, are softer material. And as uh, mm -hmm. I think James mentioned earlier, maybe that, that wears out quicker. But for uh, Pat Brown, because I put my, my name and logo there, and then the rest of this is all for Pat Brown. Can anyone name this meteorite? Now, if any of our regulars can't guess this one, you're ejected from the crew. <laughs> Erg check. There you go. Or as my wife would say, Erg check one, two. Erg check one, two. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, King Gujba. Wow. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice one. Yeah, that one, that turned out nice, didn't it? <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about that, Jules? Your slices are in other people's collections now. Oh, I, I love it. Here. I absolutely love it. Thank you for doing that. Get it right. Maybe you see the metal in it. Yeah. 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 It's amazingly aggressively thin, isn't it, James? <laughs> it is. I took it out and I thought, oh, I shouldn't be touching this. <laughs> yeah. That, that's one thing I like about uh, about the little community we got going here. We all pass things around to each other. Oh, my, he's got it out. I got it out. Yeah, and you can see how thin it is. <laughs> yeah. For a brand new cutter too. And I think that's a, a complete slice. I think I see a crust all the way around. So, so uh, what's what's the uh, NWA number on this one again? Uh, Thirteen one eight seven. And that's 1.3 grams, Martian sugar type, found in uh, 2019. And it's actually a really nice sample to show the uh, the interior structure of it. It looks like you might actually have an end cut there. Uh, and then as Art already showed off, the uh, meteorite of the month for this month was uh one three one eight seven so mars nice. Nice. oh you have you definitely have an end there oh wow oh i can tell why roberto filled that out that's beautiful writing <laughs> oh yeah his, his <laughs> painstaking N nothing against uh 
we're going to call him Dr. Mark and his uh, scribble. But uh... <laughs> first of all, I have to thank Chris Monk for sending me this awesome case to display my 13992. Mm -hmm. uh, I got my big uh, case down to show you that I added your sticker. I don't have many meteorite <laughs> stickers. Cough, 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 cough. Nice. So, <laughs> the corner, you know, I've got that's the only other one down here is, is that one. So mm. uh, I also snagged this uh, Canyon Diablo set. It's got the sand and then the shocked sandstone and then a mm. piece of the Canyon Diablo uncleaned, which was nice because the only one I have is clean and it doesn't look like that. Yeah. Very, very nice. How's it going, guys? Wanted to show off a couple of little things today. This is a uh, first thing is a current going on in the garage. That's weird. Well, it's uh, it's provisional, so that's uh, a provisional Uralite. I was going to say it looks like a Uralite. The, the structure of it looks like a Uralite. Mm -hmm. So it's uh you know, it's uh, pretty hard stuff. Uh, Roberto asked me if I wanted to uh, try cutting one. I never cut one before. So I said, sure, why not torture myself? <laughs> <laughs> and how did it go? Uh, it went slow. That It's got that kind of oh. Uralite, really roughish uh, yeah. crust going on to it. Yeah. Those triple junctions poking out there. Now, so. um, people always talk about, um, oh, I have a, a meteorite. It's full of diamonds and stuff. Um, Uralites are predominantly the meteorite associated with nano diamonds. And we're not talking about diamonds or micro diamonds. We're talking about nano diamonds. And um, as Daniel Shake uh, brought out, that they can't even be viewed with an electron scanning microscope. They need better instruments in the lab to see these nano diamonds. But here's the sister slice to it. Um, And you can definitely see the exact same structure on the inside. Let me see if this will zoom in today. Yeah, it will. Good. Yeah. So this is the Uralite. And yeah, ap after you see one or two, you see those like almost like looks like fish scales almost. That triple junction uh, crystalline structure that that Mike was talking about. Um, these are ugly little nuggets of ceriche. Um, uh. So I didn't really want to show these off, but uh, you can kind of see that they got some some fissures and cracks in there and stuff like that. Um, mm. So what I wanted to kind of cover was you know what what do you do short of electrolysis in order to clean them up a bit. Um, and this one has been cleaned and we always talk about acid for uh, etching. So this was... Tabo Camado is uh, Peru. Peru. Ayachuco, Peru. Wow. This piece, let me see if we get to my data here. Tabo Camado. This one is 58 grams over. Oh my goodness. That's something. Yes. That's a nice big piece too. It, extremely big. I was just about to comment on the size of it, man. Because yeah, uh, it's, it's it's about two inches on the side. Yeah. So I, I bought that uh, two years ago before uh, COVID hit, of course. Um, this one is Garriott 004. Ooh. And this one, let me go up to my data here. Garriott is a, I got some Mike Miller. Uh, this one is 55 grams. And it is out of. Uh, Libya, uh, I, I'm gonna fracture this name. It's um, Darian Zamzam Valley, Libya. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Whatever. Rest all the way around? Uh, yes. So Santa Rosa, this is from uh, Boyaca, Colombia. Hmm. And this piece is, it's about three inches long, three and a half inches long, it's 91 grams. Yeah, this was the other one I wanted to show off. So uh, this came in. This is a Chansk. Uh, so that's a 
old fall out of Russia. So that's, uh, it fell in 1887. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, it's it's pretty pricey per gram nowadays, but I mean, there's a lot of it. There was uh, 500 kilograms of it. Uh, you don't need to rush. This is golden for us. This is we love. Okay. I don't know about everyone else, but I, I think we should all take a take a turn once a week showing off a shelf of our collection. Maybe not in in granular detail, but you know, I want to see what everyone collects and how they display and get some ideas too. That's my iron shelf, and down here. I have my, I'll zoom out for a second. This is my chondrite shelf, or there's a lot of A chondrites in here too, but I have CV main mass. That's my first main mass. Nice, carbonaceous. Then I have her check and a Chelly <laughs> Banks, ours. I have a Shergatite and my Knocklite. Then that one right there is a Eucrite. I've um, one that's still waiting to be classified beneath it. It's a Eucrite, but it doesn't have a name yet. Some Irichita 004. Just some basic ones. We've got some Buzzard Cooley. And then some Vinales. Ron. Yeah. The SLH means it's uh, S is subgrouped. The first L means it's low in gold, and the H after that in the third character means it's high in nickel. Ah, okay, so the high in nickel would explain the absence of a Wittgenstein pattern. This is out of China. This is Hoyan Shine. And believe it or not, that's an etched surface. Whoa. This is the finest, uh, finest octahedrite. It's almost like grains of, I don't know, silver or something. But figured I'd show you what I have on display back here today. Um, a lot of, these are my, my bigger ones, but this one here is uh, unclassified. I think it's, it's 7.2 kilos, something like that. And if you see right down here, I did cut a sample off uh, for, um, that's sitting at, uh, at ASU right now, waiting to be classified. Uh, the 400 gram slice that uh, Chris Monk prepped for me. Wow. And there's my first meteorite classification ever. That's NWA 12574. And this is the main mass of it. Right. And here's a uh, seven point uh, five or some, yeah, something like that. Seven point five uh, kilo uh, Campo de Cello from Argentina, and then we have Gorora zero zero three, the main mass. I try not to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just glistening dark fusion crust. Yeah, absolutely. Um, my newest main mass. This is uh, Taz Tazarine 002. I showed this off yesterday, but here you can see the, the iron in it better. This one is classified. I forget the number on it right now, but I, I bought this to slice. I, I wanna take really big slices of this thing because it'll make massively big slices. And uh, I think that'd be a nice one to slice up so people can have huge slices. But here's, here's the, where it was cut for the lab. Mm -hmm. And that's all that's been removed from that piece. Very nice. Yeah. And then I got to have my remove before flight. <laughs> <laughs> for you, Craig. Look at this. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. That's nice. Oh. And as you can see, it's like there's holes all through it. These were purchased at my first Tucson show. Sweet. I love the dark crust on this one. Absolutely. Ooh, quite a bit of metal, too. Yep. That's why he put it as an H. 
But I, I wish one of them would have been an L because it would have been an L, an LL, and an H, and they would have all been there. I definitely appreciate everyone joining and sharing your, everything. And Chris, thanks for taking us for a tour of your collection. Definitely appreciate it, man. Yes, Have sir. a great week, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.